Holmes right there knocking on the door. Two laps to go. And Tanner Holmes spins around, backs in the wall, and a yellow flag. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope all you guys are having a great day today. It is points race number six at the Red Bluff Outlaws. Feels so good to be back here. Let's go see the cars. Here is the blue paint job. You guys actually haven't seen this in the last three racing videos. And then Carly, she's got the Cougar one on. So looking good, we're all ready to go. Today should be fun, lots of good cars here at Red Bluff. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get the win tonight. So after that session, I just went out. I was third out of the five cars that were out there. So not too bad. I'm gonna go check on, see where I'm at. Uh, not, car was good, probably rotating a little bit too much. I needed it to be just that much smoother. We'll see where we end up. Top 10 wouldn't be too bad, but right now we're sitting third. So that was a nail biter. We just got done with qualifying and I ended up finishing sixth. Everybody was an 8-4, like from sit or from fifth all the way down to like 11th or 12th. So got lucky, made the dash. We're here, buddy. What's your name, your fan? Corbin. So thank you, Corbin, for watching all the videos. My heat race will be up next. So I just had the craziest open heat race I've had yet. So many things happened. So I started second row inside behind Maria Kofer. First lap, fell back to fourth. So going into three and four on the first lap, I threw a slider on the 2X of Chase Magic. I didn't quite clear him, and I ended up giving him the right rear. First five drivers are all capable of winning these races. Here comes Logan Seaman, big slider. Oh, and Tanner Holmes just wore out the... Here comes Logan Seaman, big slider. Oh. And Tanner Holmes just wore out the two... But he came from dead last all the way, and on the last corner, threw a slider. We hit just like that, and if I have a clip, I'll play. Have to try and make something happen. He sails it into turn number three. He bounces off the ATT, and he takes it. Wow. What a move. That was absolutely incredible right there, Elijah. Yeah, able to. But anyway, we hit, and my car stopped. He crossed the checkered, finished second. But I'm not sure who got DQ'd, or someone, I think, missed the scales. I think it was the leader. So I ended up transferring to the A main off pure luck. But anyway, yeah, Chase, I don't want to, like, have a feud. I just, I didn't mean to crash. I'm going to put on my jacket, but... I don't know if I told you guys this, but I had to switch motors after the heat race because we were having some issues with it. Hopefully though, it does us good. But in all seriousness, I also did want to say I actually didn't mean to crash Chase Magic. I was just trying to get more aggressive like I've been wanting to do. Like I, actually, I said that in the last video. I want to get more aggressive and I tried. This time it didn't work. All right guys, we have a quick birthday shout out. What's your name? Brody. Brody Reynolds. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you for watching all the videos. My favorite. I appreciate it. This is all of his friends right here. Cousins. Dude, this guy, dude, you're awesome. He races beginner box. It's number 24. Thank you. Once again, appreciate it. So here is the first time I'm showing you guys the track all day. It has a lot of tack, lots of grip. So here is three and four starting to form a little bit of a cushion on exit. 
as you get up through here, you gotta ride this all the way through the corner. Should be good on the top side. Like I said, lots and lots of grip. So should be good down here. Let's go take a look at one and two. So here is one and two, and it's not forming as much of a cushion as it is in three and four. But parts of it are like right there, pretty high, but then the rest of it is just normal red bluff. One and two never really forms a cushion anyway. It's always three and four that would get that way. Also, there's a lot of tack on the bottom, so I'm kind of curious if maybe in the A main tonight, that's where it'll be. I start third, so I will be on the bottom for the first few laps probably. Just gotta watch out, I always say this, but for these orange discs, we'll have to see tonight. I'm gonna go show you guys where I start. Alrighty, so. know Tyler from a few previous he was actually at the beginning of the video that was the guy I was chasing when I spun out Jesse has been in a few of the videos too uh, at Wairika and Tanner Thorson's never been in the videos but he's a USAC national driver I'll link it in the description below so you can see what I'm talking about hopefully we do well though so the trophy dash just got over I ran second but that motor did not perform so we're doing another motor swap they're all working on it right now so what's happening is we are going to be putting on another motor and hopefully have it on before the A main. Should be good, have lots of time. So that's what we're doing, changing gears, changing chains, changing motors, just changing everything. Uh, hopefully we do well though in this. two motor swaps in one day. We already got the other motor on, so we're pretty close to being done already, but we got lots of time before the A main. What? 7 sixteenths. I got you. Alrighty, so the whole motor is on. I gotta thank Greg Caldwell, Jesse Caldwell, Jimmy Elledge, Rick Rapp, my dad, and just everyone that was over here. Especially Bennett, because without Bennett, I don't even know if we would have gotten The motor mounts would not have come out, and they'd still be on Jimmy's car, so. Oh, yeah. See, without Bennett, I don't even know if we would have got the whole thing fixed, you know? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, um, we're going to go watch the 250s. The A mains are up next. The A main's not over yet. The my A main is over. I don't really know what to say. I don't think the motor blew up, but we ended after about seven laps. I started third. I don't have like the whole GoPro footage in, but started third, fell back to sixth. I kind of, I'll admit, I was sleeping on the start. Didn't get a very good one, but then after that, I was just trying to stay alive for as long as I could. Fell back to sixth after the first few laps and then got right back up to fourth, was battling for third, like right behind those guys. And they were just clowning each other out of the way. I mean, they were crashing, hitting, bang, beating and banging. And I was just trying to survive and see if I could be there at the end to put a move, like actually have my whole car. But uh, I don't really know what happened to the motor, but we had the exact same issue. I don't think it blew up, but I don't know. Something, something happened to it, so we'll see. I guess 
go back to the drawing board. I, I don't even, I, so we'll see. So before I play this next clip, this is the last lap of the open A main at the Red Bluff Outlaws last night. It was the craziest finish I've ever seen. So many things happen. I just wanted to say, don't think any less of Red Bluff. Don't think any less of Outlaw Cards after watching this. I know it's going to be hard, but just don't. This is just one of those occasions where just it's going to show how much everybody wants to win at Red Bluff and what it means to win there. So that's why people do some of the craziest things they've ever done, things they would never do. So just don't think any less of it. Definitely go get an Outlaw Card if you can. Don't not buy one after watching this. I know it's crazy and, and you can also see the emotion in the winner and like what it's like to win at Red Bluff and how pumped Chase Hill was to win. Flag this time, Kenny hang on for his first career win. Casey McLean to the inside, he shoves the 83 Junior out of the way and Casey McLean, holy smokes, what a move! Holy smokes, what a move! That is unbelievable, Chase Hill wins and that's not gonna fly, wow! Unreal, Chase Hill your winner. Casey McLean almost landed in Redding. Oh, Chase Hill almost pulled off the Daniel Thorson Donuts. Folks, let me get you a quick rundown of your top five in one of the most ridiculous races I think I've ever seen in my career. Chase Hill, your winner. So we are all packed up and ready to go for tonight. That's what we're gonna do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. We will get our first win this year, guys. I promise. I'm gonna do it. And then remember, if I win, $5 off hats after the A main. So I'll see you guys in the next Red Bluff Outlaw video. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna overcome these motor issues. We don't even have one on the car right now, like I said. We will be back with this motor that we ran in Roseburg. Also guys, if this video do does go up before the iRacing practice meetup, that is from 6 to 8 p.m. West Coast time. Don't forget that. Now this also might go up after. I don't really know yet. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.